Hey guys, my name's Lucas, Art Raving Dad, and this is Phoenix. Phoenix, and today on the show we are going to be drawing a sloth. A sloth, a oh. sleepy I'm sloth. Sure. <sighs> oh. Okay, let's get to it. Yes, let's do it. All right. First step, you need to sort of up the middle here of the page. You need to do sort of a sideways M, do 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 do, like that. That's going to be the hair of the sloth on the top. We're gonna to have to draw a circle that starts at this side of the M and goes all the way around to that side of the M. And you wanna make it like a cute sort of stubby circle. So I'll show you what to do. Mine Whoa, looks big chubby. That's good, Phoenix, I like it. Because you said chubby, so chubby. Chubby, chubby circle. Next step is to draw the eyes. So you wanna yes. do sort of two big eyes either side. So one here, and then one eye on this side. So we do a highlight in the middle, like a little circle in the middle. Ooh, that looks a bit creepy. And <laughs> that is creepy. <laughs> and then we're gonna color this in, but don't color inside those little circles. And you know what? I'm gonna make these eyes just a little bit bigger. Maybe. Because sloths have big, sleepy eyes. The next step, we're gonna draw his nose. Yes. So it's kind of like a triangle. So you do a V there and then round it off with a little hill at the top and then you want to colour it in. That looks like a beak. You probably want to make it a bit rounder if you can. Ooh, I like it, Phoenix, I like Ooh. it. Now, we're going to do two sort of hooks either side here. So, kind of like a J that way and a backward J that way. <laughs> it's kind of like an upside down <laughs> seagull. Yeah. So we're going to do another seagull inside the sloth's head. Here we go. So curve, dip, and then down. So that's a seagull. Do you think we just keep the seagull there? No, we don't. So next we're gonna sort of do a curve that's gonna start here, go around the eye and then come into here. So we're gonna go, so we're on a bit of a journey, going past the eye and boom, there. Yep. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Take a little drive around the eye, through the eye and the nose and stop there. So you sort of, when you stop, you're sort of in line with this little seagull up here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect this here, like a big sort of U. Ooh, look at there. that. There we go. <laughs> All right. So the next step is we're going to do his two paws either side of his wee, face. Wee, wee, wee. So we're going to do two big scones. One scone. Scone circle. Scone. And then another scone here. Scone. And then you want to do his claws. He looks like a squishable. <laughs> he looks like a squishable. That's right, he does. And they're kind of like really big, long U's. One U, two U, three U. So it kind of looks like the petals on a flower, but a little bit longer. And we do the same on the other side. One, two. Hey, look at him. Three. He's so cute. He is very cute, isn't he? Okay, so what do sloths normally climb? Trees. Trees. So the best thing we can do here is we want to do sort of a part of a hill going down that way. And then a part of another hill going down this way on the right hand side. And then we want to do an angle down like so. And you want to go past the claws. And we come this side, go down. And then we want to connect the bottom in sort of a U or like a hill. Like that. So that's sort of like the base of our sloth. <laughs> and so we want to add in a little branch over here. So what we can yeah. do, we can put a little rectangle. So we go line up, one line up, another line up on the other side, okay. and we connect it at the top. And then we can put some leaves on here. So we do one C back that way, and another C back that way. And we'll do it again on this side and on that side. And that's your two leaves. Yes. And let's create some of the body work for the sloth. So if we do one little hill here and another little side hill there, and let's have a look and see what we've got. We Ooh. have a sloth. Sloth. Yeah. What did you think? That's really cool. I like how you like the shape of your sloth's head there. I'm cute. So like I said, guys, you can add any other little elements here as well oh if you want. God. If you want to have the sloth feet dangling down there, you could do that, or you can add more branches look, and trees. Look at you. Your one is look creeping now. He looks very creepy, doesn't he? Well, I don't think he looks creepy. I think he looks kind of... 
So, what's the next thing we do now? Color in! Color in, all right. Let's go. All right, guys, there we go. We finished coloring the sloths. High five, Phoenix. Good job. Tell me a bit about your sloth. What did you do? Looks uh, like a chocolate sloth. It's a brown because he blends in with the trees. Ah, so he's camouflaged with the trees so no one can see him. Yes. Yes. No one can see me. No one can see him. He's like hiding. Ooh. And yeah, I went with a kind of cool approach here with an interesting face and a gray blue uh, paws and face and added a few extra things on there just to make it stand out. Anyway guys, it's all about having fun. You do your own interpretation of these pictures and you know, color it which way you want. That's and all I cool, isn't it? I hope you have um, subscribed that button. That's right, I hope you hit the subscribe button, have some fun with that and um, keep up to date with all the videos that we're making, really appreciate it. And I hope you have fun. <laughs> that's right, that's the main thing we're doing here. It's just about having fun, making art and having fun. My name's Lucas, Art Raving Dad, and this is Phoenix. And we are having fun making art. We'll see you next time guys, bye. And the face in the middle of here is just gonna be white. It's just like, I'm brown, no one can see me.